Hi, this is the video tutorial directing you to create your own SaveStream module from the scratch. To get started, you need to fulfill these basic requirements, which are as Visual Studio 2008, SQL Server 2005, SaveStream Framework, and Internet Information Services. Uh, we already have SaveStream website running in Microsoft Visual Studio. In the Solutions Explorer, right click on the modules and select New Folder. Name the module. Before we prolong with creating the module, uh, it's important to understand that Sage Free Module Development consists of three user controls, that is View, Edit and Settings. Now, let's begin with adding the user controls to the module folder that we've just created. You want to right click on the module folder and select Add New Item. Make sure you have got user web user controls selected in Templates. And let's add View User Control firstly. A view user control uh, refers to what user gets to see, which means a view control is what is displayed to your user. Likewise, let's add another user control that is edit. Edit user, user control is concerned with data manipulation, that is to edit the content of the module. And lastly, we will be adding settings user control. Now, a settings user control handles the overall behavior of the module, including both edit and view user controls. And now, in order to develop a module in SaceFrame, you have to follow certain structures. As in code behind the uh, newly added view control, you need to use the namespace using SaceFrame.wape. And you need to inherit your control from SaceFrame's base user control class. In the class created by Visual Studio, you need to replace it with base user control. This is for view control. Uh, you want to copy the same SaceFrame namespace and put it in settings and edit user controls as well. You need to replace the class with base administration user control. Uh, the same implies for edit user control as well. Now you can construct your own modules as desired using these three controls. Uh, in order to view the changes made in the view control, let's type in some dummy text. Now, uh, to see this module working, we need to use the SaceFrame interface to register your module, which means you need to register the uh, modules that you have created in SaceFrame. For that, you need to log into the SaceFrame interface as a super user and go to the module definitions. And there in the page, you need to click on Create New Module. Once you create the module, the name of the module will be listed in the module folder. You want to click on the module. Uh, the source of the module you have created will be displayed in the source field. For instance, we have created these uh, three sources, that is edit settings and view. Firstly, let's integrate view source. Fill in the packet settings with the appropriate details. On the module control settings, now key is a required field which is for controlling the particular control of the module. Uh, we would recommend you to keep a key as the name of the type you selected. Give a title to the module control. Now select the type from drop down box. Uh, while creating a module, it's quite important to set the type of user control as it indicates the security group that the control will be in. C 
select the checkbox for supports partial rendering uh, just to implement the AZAX control and save the module now once you have saved the module it will be listed along with the uh, installed modules click on the module control settings tab and you need to add the edit and settings module controls select the sources as described earlier put in the key same process implies for settings control as well Now you just created your own module in SageFrame. Uh, you can add this module to any of the pages. Now you can see the just added module uh, in the front end. Now this is just for the demonstration on how you make modules in SageFrame and as you can see the module is displaying the same dummy text as written in Visual Studio. Likewise you can make your own dynamic modules in the same way by adding the various controls as you require. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.